you're gonna be feeling it like a eater it's like i'm fragile i can break please handle me with care Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Chinyere. If you are just seeing my face for the very first time, welcome to the very first sit down video of 2022. I don't like, apart from it being 2022, I don't even remember when last I sat down to do an actual video. It's probably been like two, three months. I am not even sure. But today's video is a very requested video, and this is not me trying to say, trying to be one of those people that say, Oh, people have asked me, you know, it has actually been, you know, it's a question that has come up so many times. Why have you not filmed the perfume video? And I have been stalling, I don't even know why I've been stalling, but in 2022 we are going to do the things that we have been procrastinating all those things that we think we cannot do or we shouldn't do for some weird ass reason we are going to be doing them in from 2022 upwards okay so in today's video you see me i'm looking like a rich woman okay i just had to give you guys the vibes you know with leopard print and like red lips and a gorgeous wig just you know i'm just trying to exude rich sophisticated woman because we're talking about scents and we're talking about fragrances and you know all of that sexy stuff so in today's video i'm not going to be doing a perfume collections video i'm just going to be doing a video where i show you my best and my worst perfumes in my collection um so one thing that i want you to know first of all is i do not have any high-end perfumes maybe one i guess that one will fall on that high end all of the perfumes that i'm going to show you are all blind buys okay blind buys i am i mean a couple of years ago when i was in uni i remember going to stores with my husband in lagos island and we would test scents and we would pick perfumes and then i had like maybe one or two perfumes that i was using and i never rotate scents so i never buy perfumes and then repurchase i've never done that in my entire life and i don't plan to do that but one particular perfume has been on my list and i have been so tempted that this morning i sent a vendor a message on for well for unfortunately or fortunately they don't have it in stock and i'm going to tell you guys what perfume that is i've never used the perfume twice just because i feel like there's so much for me to use and i've barely scratched the surface i just think that perfumes are just so it's such a broad thing and i don't i haven't found any perfume that i like so much and um, you know to want to repurchase and i'm not that kind of person that wants to have a signature scent i don't want to come in and you know it's me that's coming in but i'm going to go into how i've been able to buy perfumes where majority of the time i actually love them and just a few that i have major issues with okay so we're going to get right into that in a bit So the very first perfume that we're going to be talking about was one of the first perfumes that I bought that made me decide to start growing a collection. Now a couple of years ago when I was in uni like I said I would just have one or two perfumes and that's it like when they finish I just go for maybe one or two most times I'll just have one perfume that I'm using but this perfume was very first perfume and I found it for such a good price on a page on Instagram and I bought it the price wasn't bad and I was like okay like okay so if I can get a perfume that smells this good for this price that means I can actually build a collection and I love I love fragrances I love scents I love smelling really really good every single time from when I open my eyes to when I go to bed well kind of you get what I mean so this scent was that scent that I got and I was like you know what uh, maybe I should start building a collection but let me tell you way down the line it is not cheap it's not a cheap thing to like loving perfumes is not a it's not cheap at all especially now that the dollar keeps going up things are really expensive and let's just say it didn't turn out like I expected it to okay so the very first perfume that I'm going to be showing you is an oldie I think this perfume is really old I'm looking down at my computer because I want to be able to browse the notes and just tell you guys so you just have a a slight idea what to expect so the thing about me and perfumes is that over time because I've been blind buying I have a good idea of notes that I like and then I also do a way between you know top middle and bottom notes now with top notes those are like that's like the first the opening of the fragrance so when you open the fragrance and you perceive it the first scent that hits you is the top note and then when it has dried down completely and really blended with your own skin 
then you get what the dry down is like so that smell you get is the dry down sometimes some perfumes smell different on different people call it because you know we're just different and the very first perfume that i'll be talking about is elizabeth arden fifth avenue this is considered a floral fragrance there's there are certain notes that always do well for me if a perfume has i've mentioned before that i love coconut scents which you don't get a lot in you don't get that a lot in perfumes really um, but i really like coconut scents and i love citrus citrus is a banger it's a hit for me even when i get even when i perceive uh, masculine fragrances that are really really strong because of the citrus notes i just love it i've used a scent like that i think it's called um, azaro azaro wanted i think that's what it's called that perfume is so strong it's not my typical perfume but because of the citrus note i was i just i was so drawn to it um so i love citrus scent so when perfumes have things like mandarin orange um orange blossom um or something i also like is musk i like white musk sometimes i like sandalwood as well um i like jasmine yes i love jasmine as well so there are certain notes that i look at for me to pick a perfume that i know would work for me so with this like i said it's elizabeth arden fifth avenue this is what the bottle looks like it is a gorgeous gorgeous bottle i have had this perfume for i believe i've had this for over almost two years and this is how it is and i'm going to tell you why so the reason why this perfume is still like is because it's a hot scent it's that kind of scent that when you spray it's such a warm scent and like people that stay in the abroad would say um it's a good scent for maybe fall or spring or um winter the cold seasons and because it's hot all year round here in nigeria it's not something that i can wear all the time so that's why i run from this scent so we have three citruses as the top notes so that just goes to show you why i like it so i don't like vanilla perfumes that's it but because this is a vanilla is a base note here that's why i can kind of manage it um but then the musk and the sandalwood and the amber those are the things that give it that warmth that it has so this is actually a perfume i love so much and i got this perfume for eleven thousand naira i'm sure it doesn't sell for eleven thousand naira again but the bottle is gorgeous so when i bought it for eleven thousand i was like oh my god if I can buy perfume 11,000, now by the time I buy like 11,000, 11,000, you know, but I don't think I have, maybe I have just one more that costs around this price. So perfumes are not cheap. Um, great perfumes are not cheap, but at least by adding this one is a hit. I love it. I just like to use it really sparsely, but it smells, it smells so good. Just like I said, it's a floral perfume, but it doesn't really smell, it doesn't smell extremely floral. So it does last long. And now silage longevity is good. So silage is basically when you spray a perfume and you walk into a room, it looks like a trail. So someone can still smell you when you've walked out of the room. But I know that with longevity, this is not bad at all. The second perfume that I'm going to be showing you guys is from our dear sister Rihanna. So this is Rihanna's perfume um, Rebel Fleur. Now, when I wanted to buy this perfume, I wanted to buy a Rihanna scent that was affordable, wasn't too expensive. I wanted something within that 10 to 15,000 naira range. This perfume, from the first day I got it, it was a complete disappointment. So, I had heard the popular saying that Rihanna smells good, Rihanna smells amazing. And I was like, you know what? Let me try a Rihanna scent. First thing that you smell when you open this. It smells like a very one of these very cheap perfumes that i've used in secondary school i don't know why it's just such a weird familiar cheap smell like this perfume just does not impress me i don't even feel like spraying it if i spray it not on my body maybe just in the air just to kind of i want to believe that maybe this was one of the first perfumes that rihanna worked on and i hope that her fragrances smell a lot better because the top notes of this is peach plum and red berries yuck and i'm going to tell you guys why i said yuck red berries <clears throat> when i got this perfume i wasn't into notes i wasn't looking at notes i was just like yeah let me just try i've had this perfume you guys for i'm sure over two years and look at where it is right here so that's what the bottle looks like i'm just going to hop into another perfume that i absolutely hate and like i said before you guys blind buys blind buys don't be like me so the next one that we're going to be talking about is a dolce and gabbana the only one too this is what the bottle looks like it's a gorgeous bottle i mean this looks like it will make a good thumbnail 
so yeah um donkey and gabbana the only one too um this is a recent buy i think i got this i'm not sure if it was sometime late last year or early this year but this perfume completely disappointed me i was so disappointed i mentioned it on insta stories and i can now see why i am so disappointed this perfume has no single note that i like i think i watched um a video where a very popular perfume person that i watch and i you know enjoy her video said she really loved this scent she was she went on about this in a whole video so i was like you know what let me just get it so let's talk about the notes okay the top note for this which is written here and immediately you open your nose and put this in you get it straight up berries red berries blackberry red berries straight up it just hits you so strong middle note red rose i hate rose so much i don't know how i ignored rose in the nose because i'm very sure that i came to fragrantica and i looked at the notes of this perfume the berries in this thing is so strong to be honest when i saw berries i was like maybe it will give you that sweetness but i'm not getting that this smells like cough syrup if you have a child a toddler you know those cough syrups that are red ish in color or pink in color that's just what this smells like that's what the opening smells like um when i got this i tried to spray I sprayed it on i just wanted to get what the dry down was like to see if i was going to like it i hate it so much it's a complete no like i haven't found a reason to wear this it almost nauseates me i'm just going to scroll down so that we can see maybe one one or two um reviews from people on fragrantica let's just see someone says on my skin is so shampoo vibe i like it but it's not the best for me um this one says it's sweet creamy and warm mm. Someone says perfume is everything. Someone says I don't like it. I really wanted to. This reminds me of Burberry High Intense. This smells like sour berries. I got the 1.7 ounce, so no hole in my pockets, guys. I got the big bottle. This is a 100 ml bottle. Beautiful red bottle and packaging too. So that's what someone said. This is nah. What someone said. It does smell like sour berries. It does because I was expecting that okay, you know, red berries is going to have some kind of sweetness to it, but no, it does smell sour, like this person said. It's a beautiful bottle, cute for your vanity or whatever, but other than that, no, it's really not for me. So let's move on to something that I actually like, and that would be this one from Versace Versace Crystal Noir. It's a beautiful amber bottle, and it has this cover that doesn't cover properly, so it does nothing like a click or anything, so it just comes up very easily. Um, but yeah, this is what the bottle looks like. Um, mine is broken, which is so painful, so it's broken somewhere here. And look at how nice this looks with my nails um, when i got this scent one the number one thing that made me love it instantly is the coconut it's crazy how coconut is actually a middle note here but when i put it in my nose the first thing i smell is coconut and i think maybe it's because i like coconut so i just get that coconut scent first so this is a scent that i absolutely love i can spray this i wear this at home because it's a very for me it's a very easy soft scent it doesn't have too much of that warm enveloping thing about it so i can wear this easily at home it smells so good it doesn't last too long on me because i wear this at home so i can tell that it doesn't last too long i'm just going to check for like maybe a first review just to see what someone says someone says very sexy scent love the coconut not sweet just blends really well i don't know how they got those notes together but it's amazing unisex i feel slick and sexy the price is amazing it's a must try someone says one of the very few few coconut perfumes i love Super, surprisingly fresh and creamy yes so everything everything they said it smells really really good um, but it's one of those scents that you would have to you know reapply but i mean if you like a scent why not it's one of those scents it's it smells so beautiful i love it so the next scent that we're going to be talking about is actually a it's a recent purchase um when i posted on instagram someone shared her favorites with me and she said this smells really good and then somehow i stumbled on it on someone's page and i looked at the notes and it had a lot of notes that i actually really like and i got it and it didn't disappoint plus it's such a gorgeous um okay that opening is definitely my vibe 
yes 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 it has such a citrusy opening it is dahlia devine by Givenchy. this is what the bottle looks like it's such a beautiful classic looking bottle so a top note um mirabelle citruses so it says citruses and then there are about three citruses that they put together looking like lemon lime and orange something like that so that means it has a combination of citruses which is one of the things that really attracts me to this perfume it has rose which i do not like but i'm sure the rose i think the rose is very understated in this perfume so this is amazing i love it um when it comes to it lasting long i'm not really sure because i haven't used so much of it i don't like to use one perfume so i'd always mix my scents i just wake up and it's like okay this plus this plus this is going to give you this just wear it like that so i really don't know how long this lasts so someone said this perfume is so classy and elegant um middle and dry down is sweet black currant and vanilla someone else says smells quite expensive to me i like it a lot it's a little powdery in a good way um someone says it's classy and sophisticated i like it so the next one we're going to be talking about i guess you would call this high end is tom ford black orchid um and this is a i have a hate love relationship with this perfume i love it on my husband i love it so much i love the dry down i love when he wears it and comes back home and i perceive it you know in his beard area on or, or on his neck but i do not like it on myself this smells like old spice i think it smells like a particular i don't know if old spice had so many flavors or different types but it smells like aftershave so so much it just smells like something that my dad would shave himself in the living room with his shaving stick and then just spray and rub because i remember my dad used to do that he would just spray something and then just rub so that's that's exactly what this smells like i don't know how people like this scent and people say it's a unisex scent I don't know but this is what the bottle looks like it's a gorgeous bottle it would look good on your dresser it's black it's flat it has this nice gold detail and this nice rope thing on the neck so it is a beautiful bottle but I can't seem to like it like it's such a strong scent it's just too much like there's so many things I'm just looking I'm like no this combination is going to drive me crazy because what is spices now the spices look like arabian spices i don't know what it is what is spices doing in the same place where there's mexican chocolate where there's amber there's sandalwood there's vetiver there's white musk and then there's this fungus thing it's like such a mix that i would not even like and then you're throwing in my beloved citruses and then you're throwing in fruity notes as well it's just like where is it going to where so this is definitely one of the things that I do not like. My husband uses this more than I do. I do not like it one bit. And I'm just going to go and look through so we can see maybe the first two reviews on Fragrantica. Someone says, my first review, I'm completely new. I don't know how I feel about this scent, but it's confused me. Ah, yes. I was hoping to love it. I guess I was hoping to feel more blown away by it yes like oh this is so different to anything else i've ever smelled but it just felt familiar and not in a good way you guys i did not write this review i did not type this review but this is exactly how i feel about this scent i just asked my husband for his thoughts and his response is actually the only reason i'm posting this review he said hmm that's different for you it's not very you and then second one says this definitely grew on me i absolutely hated it at first wave but eventually got used to it the more i use it. it's very strong and definitely not for everyone the opening isn't my favorite but it settles quickly and i find that it envelopes me it's very strong and it leans more unisex than feminine to me so the next thing we're talking about is girl of now from ellie saab and this is a scent that i actually like a blind buy as well it is my most long lasting perfume in the whole of the collection my collection of perfumes it is the one that lasts the longest it's that perfume where even after laundry days weeks after you open your wardrobe and you get that you get that slight scent uh, it's a gorgeous bottle it has this nice um these are like talkers like petals they look like petals on so this is what it looks like and it's so confusing that this perfume smells so much like honey there's a very strong honey scent in this and i'm looking at the notes on fragrantica and they didn't include it there's a strong strong honey scent in this not i don't understand why i'm not seeing honey i've never even looked at it why am i not seeing honey 
if you don't like honey the smell of honey you will not like this perfume someone says it's a mind-blowing fragrance by any means but it's nice it's girly and pretty I can see this being used as an everyday scent during fall one reason why I don't use this perfume a lot is because it's a very very warm scent so when you wear it it's you are gonna be feeling hot you're gonna be feeling it like an eater um, but you know considering how much I love it how it smells how long lasting it is I don't use it as much this is one of those scents that I feel because it lasts really long I feel like this will just push my other scents are not very strong so that's what I do most times so the next one we're going to be talking about is a Beyonce scent a celebrity scent um, this is heat from Beyonce and this perfume is pretty pretty disappointing okay I bought this when I was looking for it's even dusty. I bought this when I was looking for cheaper fragrances within 11 to 15 thousand naira and I think I got this for about 13 to 15 um, and it's such a disappointing scent. It's like a body mist basically. It smells very regular, very familiar. It doesn't last long. Like I said, it's like a body mist. In fact, some body mists perform better than this perfume. Um, so this is what the bottle looks like. I think the bottle is pretty in my opinion. I love the orange ombre thing that they did with it at the bottom and I like the shape of the bottle. It does not last long. It's just like spray here before you walk out of your door. You can't smell it again. Um, I'm not going to say it doesn't smell nice it smells really nice but it doesn't smell unique and it doesn't last long so the next thing that we're going to be talking about is Carolina Herrera good girl yes this is a scent that I love. I'm not going to say this smells unique in any way. It does smell familiar like I've been saying with other perfumes. But I love it. I love the familiarity that I get with this. Um, pair of shoes. Really cute with the heel. Um, and that's where you spray from. Mm. So for base notes, it does have a lot of that the deepness so let me read the business out there's tonka bean there's cacao there's vanilla there's praline which looks like a chocolate i don't know there's sandalwood there's amber there's musk cashmere wood cinnamon patchouli and cedar so it's a very woody musky deep darkness to it and i think that's what gives it like that box vibe you know because it's not it's not floral so it's not it's not it's not fresh it's not floral it has like that depth and then it has you still get that citrusy a little bit of floral but there's that depth that shows like you know i'm feminine but i'm also strong that kind of thing you know um, so let me read the first to reviews um there's a reason this perfume is so popular because it smells amazing it's sweet floral and heady it smells like the hottest woman at a party i get the argument that there are a lot of perfumes like this but because it's a great smell i think this one does it best just like i said it's definitely not a unique fragrance but it smells good someone says if you want a scent that is going to make a statement about your individuality good girl isn't it if you want your dates to nozzle into your neck because it smells so good this is the one but like i said it's it's not a unique scent it's just a it's just a nice scent for me i like it and then my last scent how did i even do this last i can't even understand it's like is this perfume is it telling me something i told you guys in the beginning of this video that i was going to tell you the one scent that i was almost very close to well, i'm still close to repurchasing and that is this one this is lovely share by sarah jessica parker Ugh, I can't explain how I love this scent and that's why like I've gotten to understand that sometimes it's just how a scent is for you it's what a scent does to your mind it's what it does to your body it is one of my cheapest scents but this perfume smells so damn good to me I sent a message to a vendor yesterday asking them if they had this available and unfortunately they don't have it available but I feel like it's one of those scents that if I go into a store I could just pick it up like okay it's not expensive let me just pick it but I really really like this scent I wear this at home it makes me feel so good and you can wear this even when the weather it's really hot because it's such a chill perfume it's like I'm um, fragile I can break please handle me with care that's how it smells this perfume looks like it definitely needs a puffer somewhere here so you can just you know like those old style you know perfumes so this is what the bottle looks like it's a nice cloudy classic vintage kind of bottle and that's it lovely share by sarah jessica parker i love this perfume and this one is a 100 ml bottle it smells different for me like i said it smells like a very delicate woman it smells like a woman that 
she not get time for wala she's just chill she's just she's just a very feminine um not like problem but she's wealthy but she's a minimalist if that makes sense so that's what it smells like i'm just going to go through reviews from one or two people someone says such a great feminine scent lives up to its name i love the original of lovely but the share version is more delicate and more beautiful definitely reminds me of narciso rodriguez for her line of perfumes it's a musky floral goodness a good everyday scent that is inoffensive it's one of the only scents i can wear at home because it's not too much you just get that light nice delicate whiff off of yourself when you wear it someone says it's delicious fresh and light with really beautiful citrus notes that make it perfect for spring or summer it is hugely neglected or underrated they aren't the same but this has a similar essence to benefits maybe baby um, that's where I'll stop a lot of people are still saying nice things since I love this far better than the original it smolders on my skin in the heat and really works its magic it's fresh and lasts a long time on my skin and that keeps the fresh scent and it doesn't melt off my skin when I sweat like most fragrances so it's a beautiful Beautiful, beautiful fresh delicate fragrance um, and I've used a couple of Jessica Sarah Jessica Parker perfumes I think I've used maybe two other ones um, but this is my absolute favorite I love it so much so that's all I believe I mentioned ten perfumes four that I don't like and six that I like um, if you are a perfume lover let me know what perfumes you really like let me know if you've used any of these let me know if you hate any of these if you love any of these and let me know your favorite and worst scents in your collection point me in that direction so at least when i go to a store i have a good idea of what to go to so yeah let me know in the comments below i hope you guys really enjoyed this video i enjoyed doing it i feel like i really talk a lot when it comes to perfumes and i really love perfumes but well, thank you guys so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye my children are back. Oh my god. Please, please go out, Mama. I'm filming. Please, I'm filming. Go have your bath, okay? Wow. Go have your bath, Mama. Bye, bye, bye. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my baby. Good god afternoon. bless you. Good afternoon, my girls. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please don't come here, Mama. I plot something here. Oh yeah, go out, go out. Mama is busy, okay?